Hello and good morning. This is Lino Tadros from Falafel Software. And in this video, I will be showing you how to create a simple widget for the Falafel dashboard for Sidefinity 5.1. I'm going to go ahead and open up Visual Studio. And as you can see in the MVC folder in here, we have the areas folder that contains all the different widgets that come automatically with the Falafel dashboard. If I would like to create a new widget, it's going to be as simple as the following. In the areas folder, we're going to go ahead and create a new folder. We'll call this one, for instance, Hello World. And inside of the Hello World, you can actually see also how all the other widgets are working. For instance, the admin board has a content area, a controllers folder, models, scripts, and views. As long as you have a controllers, models, and views, this is all you need really to create a true MVC with hopefully a razor syntax uh, view, if you'd like as well. So in the Hello World, we'll go ahead and create a three folders in here. Models. And we'll create controllers. And finally, we create the views. All right, let's go ahead and start actually with the models. I'm going to start creating a new item. We'll create a C-sharp class. We'll call this one Hello World View Model. That is our class in here. And I'm going to actually make it a very simple one. The only thing I need is to create a property. We'll make it of type string. And we'll call it message. It's an automatic property that will allow us to get and set a message property here of type string. All right. Now let's go to the controllers. And I'm going to add a new item in here as well. Let's create a class for this one. We'll say hello world controller. And there is our new class for hello world controller. This one will need to in inherit, of course, from the MVC uh, controller class. So we'll inherit from controller. We'll need to add the MVC to our using statement, system.web.mvc. So there we go. And after that, we're going to actually bring in the public property that we created. So let's uh, bring in that line of code again. And finally, I need to create my action result. So this is for our index and all the different views that will actually come up whenever the controller hits it. So let me bring in a few lines of code in here. I'll explain it. These few lines in here will create an action result for the index. I'm using actually a utils class that is, comes with the Falafel dashboard, so you already have access to this because you have already the Falafel dashboard.dll as an assembly in your bin directory. So let me go ahead and resolve this with the Falafel dashboard common. And also I'll bring in the hello world view model that we just created in the models directory. So we'll use this one as well. So you'll notice the only thing we're doing in here is we're checking if the widget is allowed. So it's called hello world. We're checking if it's allowed. And if it's allowed, I'm going to put a message out. Very simple div probably will say hello world dashboard widget. That's about it. But I also have to make sure that if something goes wrong, I will show a different view. So there is three views in here. One I'm creating, which is the index view, which I'm going to create in a second. The other one, if it's not authorized to show that view, so you will have to create a different view says unauthorized. And also, in, if an exception happens, I would like to show an error view. So in the views folder, probably we'll end up with three, minimum of three, one for the index, one for the unauthorized eyes, and one for the error. You can actually design those however you'd like. You can also see from the other uh, widgets that ship with the product how you can implement those as well. But for this one, I'm going to leave it as simple as returning Hello World dashboard widgets. All right, we're almost done. So the only thing left now is to go to the views. Let's create a new folder. We'll call it Hello World. And inside of this Hello World, I will go ahead and create a new file. And this one we'll call it index, for instance. It needs to be an index for this one. It says CSHTML for the razor syntax. And we'll say add. I don't need that code, of course. But in here, uh, what I'm interested in doing is to bring in the model. So if you bring in the add model sign, we'll bring it over here. 
So we'll say add model. And I know the coloring maybe it's not the best, but uh, this line in here says uh, add model site finity web app dot mvc dot areas at hello world dot models. And finally, it will bring in the hello world view model. So now that we have access to this model, I can do something as simple as creating a div maybe. And inside of this div, we'll do strong. And in here, we'll say add model dot message, which is the automatic property we created over there. So once we do that, I'm pretty sure whoever shows this, uh, this view by bringing in the model will probably show us the uh, hello world um, message that we put in, in the message itself in there. So let's go ahead and see how we can actually install all the stuff and get it to work. I'm going to go back now to my project. We're going to go ahead and build it. And we're going to run it in our browser. All right, there is the site running. I'm going to go into the back end for Sitefinity. And there is our dashboard running in here. We have all the controls and widgets that actually come with the product. This time I'm going to go into the administration settings. And we'll click on advanced. And in here, we'll look for the Falafel dashboard. These are all my widgets in here. I'm going to create a new one. We'll give it a name. We'll call it Hello World. We'll give it a title, Hello World. We'll give it a description as well. And the controller type is probably the important part in here. And that needs to be the namespace of where this is coming from. So I'm going to cheat a little bit in here. We'll go to the uh, controller. And what I'm interested in is this line over here. So we'll cut this from there. And we'll go back and put it there. So this is the Sitefinity web app dot MVC dot areas dot hello world dot controllers dot and the name of the class, which is hello world controller. All righty. And allowed roles, you can actually put whatever you want in here as far as uh, the different roles that you have in the system. In my case in here, I'm going to say everyone has access to it. It's fine. We'll say save changes. And this is it. Now when I go back to my dashboard, ah, I probably misspelled something in here. Let me make sure. Ah, there you go. It's the hello world control. The W is actually lowercase. All righty. So we can actually fix that really quickly. Say admin advanced settings and under falafel dashboard in here, go to hello world, and this guy has to be lowercase. All right, let's go back in here, and there it is. That is my dashboard working. And if we go all the way at the bottom in here, there's my hello world in here. We can move it a little bit. So you can see Hello World dashboard widget. So this is just a placeholder to show you how you can actually do the uh, plumbing of any widgets that you wanted to make it uh, part of the entire dashboard. But of course, you can do whatever you want inside of here as long as you understand what is required for a dashboard widget to work. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great one.